Hello students, in this video we will continue to discuss the summary of the novel Kanthapura. In the previous video we learnt that Murthy who is the protagonist of the novel has become a spokesman of Gandhi's philosophy. Now he has started to aware and awaken the people of the village and now he wants to uh, spread the philosophy of Gandhi to the coolies and parihas of the neighboring coffee estate named Skeffington Coffee Estate. But at the gate of the estate when he goes to meet the coolies there, uh, the violence breaks out. And now let's continue the summary. Murthy's three-day fast. Murthy held his own self responsible for the violence at the coffee estate uh, the uh, a fight breaks out between the policeman bade khan and the pariha there and as a result a kuli uh, a pariha named rachanna is thrown out of the estate and murthy uh, holds himself responsible for this violence he felt the need to purify himself so he undertook a fast for three days as he was a staunch believer, a staunch supporter of non-violence. So uh, he, uh, he felt the need to purify himself. He undertook a fast for three days. At the conclusion of the fast, he left his whole inner being over brimming over brimming with love and compassion for all mankind the world seemed to bathe in a new light he felt happy and satisfied he walked out to preach don't touch the government campaign so here we see that murthy has been represented as a mini gandhi or the village gandhi as we can say Murthy arrested and imprisoned. One night the police arrived at Rangama's house and arrested Murthy. As we know that Murthy had started living at Rangama's house after the death of his mother. So a police came there at Rangama's house and arrested Murthy. When people protested, they were beaten. The people of the village protested the arrest of their leader. So they were beaten from every quarter. Gandhi men come out to protest the arrest shouting Mahatma Gandhi ki jay. Murthy comes forward and appeal the crowd. He appeals to the crowd to remain non-violent and let him be taken to the jail as per the rule, uh, as per the true spirit of Satyagrahis. The more slogans, the more kicks and more bangs and there are heard more moaning, crying and shouting of the crowd. 17 among them were beaten and were taken to the Santur police station. So 17 men of the village were taken to the police station along with Murthy. There they were tortured, beaten and were let go. After beating and torturing them, they were freed. Only Murthy was taken away to Karwar. Eminent lawyers like Shankar and Rangana offered to fight his case. Sadhu Narayan tries to convince for legal aid, but Murthy declined any legal aid, asserting that truth was the best defense. Shankar holds meetings in Gandhi Medan to support Murthy, where Swami's men and spokesperson of government reveals their true identity. There, Shankar reveals the true color of Swami's men and uh, government uh, they were hand in gloves they were working together uh, that this orthodox religious leader and government are hand in gloves murthy was implicated in a false case of inciting the villagers to use violence against the police uh, he was sentenced to three months rigorous imprisonment a pale of gloom spread over kanthapura and people uh, supporting their leader, they too fasted for him. Kanthapura 
women's volunteer group founded. In Murthy's absence, Rangama became active. She thought of forming a women's volunteer group or Sevika Sangh. She inspired the women of Kanthapura by telling them stories about the patriotic Maharani Lakshmi Bai of Chansi, Rajput Princess and Sarojini Naidu. Thus, she instilled in them the courage to fight for the freedom of their country, but in the Gandhian non-violent manner. Soon, the women, uh, women's volunteer group in Kanthapura was formed. They were called Sevis. They exercised and prepared themselves for police lati charge. Murthy is released. Came the month of Vesak and with this the news that Murthy was going to be released. On the appointed day, the people of Kanthapura erected victory arches and gathered to welcome their hero. But the police brought Murthy to Rangama's house through a secret route. When people learnt this, they gathered here and they gathered there shouting slogans like Mahatma Gandhi ki jai and Vande Matram. The crowd was asked to disperse peacefully and they obeyed because that was their leader's wish to. People noticed no change in Murthy. He was to use the author's words as ever, as ever. So uh, he was like before. He, uh, there was no change in him after such a rigorous imprisonment of three months.